I know you guys won, but I just don't know how. All right, well, I'll put it all down on paper for you after we're done today. All right, just don't forget, okay? I won't. Look, I didn't want to say anything to you yesterday, but I was kind of curious how you ended up at the meet with Dana. Oh, yeah, Dana. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. See, I have a little dilemma here. I got a class with Dana now, we got to talking, and she asked me to church Wednesday night. And I went to, and it was great. And yesterday, I was talking about going over to your meet, and she asked if she could come along. Well, now, tomorrow, we're going back to Fraser Park just to walk around and talk. To tell you the truth, Frank, I really don't want to start dating anybody right now. I guess it's because I don't know what Christians do. And I definitely don't want to do anything wrong. Well, hey, maybe you can set me straight on a few things. Well, you think Dana kind of likes you then? Nah, I don't know. She's a nice girl and all. I guess it's getting her to spend more time with her. She's a sharp Christian. All right, then. I'll give it to you straight. I think there are two things you need to remember when you're talking about dating. Well, the first thing is, well, Jesus has to be the center of the relationship. Of course. Second, well, you, you need to be real careful when it comes to the physical stuff, you know? I mean, because that's where most couples have their downfall. I think what you need to do is determine affection versus passion. Affection versus passion? Yeah. Now, let me explain. See, I think you can go ahead and express affection.